I'm Thomas Jackson, elevator inspector for the state of Tennessee. With an eye on safety, Thomas Jackson plays a major role in lifting up Gatlinburg after an historic wildfire destroyed the sky lift. I actually go through every safety device that's on this unit, uh, verify that everything works like it's supposed to, that it meets the codes. Crews have been busy replacing this iconic attraction that's been a part of the fabric of this mountain resort town since the 1950s. Every component on this system is new. There's nothing that was on the old one that is tied into this one. This is 100% new installation. Flames from a wildfire in November of 2016 raced down Crockett Mountain, burning years of history as they devoured the Gatlinburg Skylift. When the fire went through, it, it did so much damage to the top of the lift that it was, it was unrepairable. The Boyne family opened Skylift in 1954 and has operated it ever since. We recognize um, the significance of our, of our place in this community and it's, it's very near and dear to the hearts of many throughout our organization. So there was never any doubt that Gatlinburg Skylift would rise from the ashes. But before it does, this brand new piece of machinery has to meet Tennessee code, and that's why crews are loading just over 500 pounds of water onto the lift's chairs. The total capacity will be on this system, and we'll verify that the unit handles the weight as it's required to. For the first time since November 28th, the Skylift is once again climbing Crockett Mountain, a milestone in Gatlinburg's recovery. And being able to pass that inspection and ensure that we are providing safe rides um, and we're ready to go just as soon as we can complete the rest of our work. And when the lift is ready to once again take visitors up and down the mountain, it'll do so with more chairs that now have three seats. Serving up to 500,000 riders annually, um, we're uh, really excited about the, the added capacity that we have. And those riders can rest assured, Skylift will be one of the newest and safest chairlifts in the country. Uh, that's what our goal is. We want to ensure that the public any elevator, escalator, wheelchair lift, tram, sky lift, ski lift, all people movers, we're, we want to verify that it's safe for the public to use. As these chairs inch closer to once again carrying passengers, the state of Tennessee will be here, helping write this new chapter in Gatlinburg Skylift's rich history in Sevier County.